In January of 2021, Swiss lens company Irix announced a new 45mm f1.4 lens, but this one's a little bit different than their others. It's a medium format lens for Fuji's GFX mount. In announcing this lens, Irix became only the second third party manufacturer to release a native GFX mount lens after Lauer. And it's a bit of a shocker for two reasons, and in a good way. First of all, the f1.4. It's the fastest native lens for the GFX by a long way. And secondly, it's price. It's only £770 or just over $1,000. That's much cheaper than the majority of Fuji's own GFX lenses, but we think there might be some reasoning for this. I'm going to start by explaining Irix as a brand in the best way that I can. I don't know them personally, but they're an innovative lens manufacturer who designed their optics in Switzerland and have them manufactured in South Korea. They only started making lenses in 2015 and so how have they gone from nothing to having one of the best lenses out for one of the best cameras in the world? Well, in the modern world of imaging technology, there are two ways to work. One is to innovate and one is to adapt. Irix take a hybrid approach. Having recently released the 300mm f5.6 space ready lens, yes, as in designed for outer space on a satellite, but they also release multiple versions of existing lenses too. For example, there's the 15mm Firefly for photography, 15mm Blackstone for photography, and the 15mm Cine for cinematography, all with the same optical elements. The difference between the lenses? The materials. While the lightweight Firefly is mostly made from plastic, the much more durable Blackstone is built from metal. The Cine variant takes this further with a dedicated 0.8 gearing on the lens, along with some significant upgrades for filmmakers. Irix have previously released the 45mm f1.4 Dragonfly in March of 2020. That was for the Canon EF, Nikon F and Pentax K mounts. The new GFX version has added a declicked aperture ring and extended the barrel, presumably to add optics to support the larger GFX sensor. While we can speculate on whether that is all that's been upgraded, I want to just give you an idea around why I called this the first native f1.4 lens for Fuji GFX. Well, the fact of the matter is that the Fuji GFX sensor is only around 27% larger than a full frame sensor, and many lenses for full frame actually have much larger image circles than they let on. For example, the Sigma 40mm f1.4 adapted from Canon EF to GFX actually covers the GFX sensor just fine. And this combination supports autofocus too, which unfortunately the Irix lens does not. There are a few Fuji GFX system users trying out combinations of EF lenses on their cameras to find out if there's some secret lenses that work well and can save people money or outperform the other lenses in the GFX lineup. But as of yet, only the Sigma 40mm f1.4 has full functionality and compatibility via an adapter to perform well on the GFX sensor. Even so, this is a bit of a revelation. The Irix 45 is still a phenomenal piece of optical engineering, and there's so many useful features for landscape photographers and videographers, such as the lockable focus ring and declicked smooth aperture and weather sealing, and these make great options for the Fuji GFX system. And I'd love to try it with the Fuji GFX 100S for video and landscape photography, actually. What do you think of this lens? Leave your comments down below. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.